let's find out why dramatic uh, shape is the way it is, why stories from the beginning of time right up to the present day fundamentally have the same shape. There has to be an underlying reason for that. What is the reason? So the, the, so the book really, really grew out of that. Into the Woods is a book about how stories work and why we tell them. John, this started off as a book about screenwriting, didn't it? How and why is it different to all the other books out there? What happened was... I, I work in television and I started to read loads of books about screenwriting and I read hundreds of them and the more I read them, although I found interesting things within them, what I started to upset me and annoy me slightly was they all said how, like there has to be an inciting incident on page 12, whatever, but none of them said why. And that just seemed to me a fundamental error. If you can't say why, then actually the how is meaningless. You have to be able to justify it. You know, so, so they seem to lack any kind of academic rigour. And so I thought, oh, there must be something in this. Let's find out why dramatic uh, shape is the way it is, why stories from the beginning of time right up to the present day fundamentally have the same shape. There has to be an underlying reason for that. What is the reason? So the, the, so the book really, really grew out of that. Okay, thank you. Can you explain why this sort of underlying shape seems to be the same, whether it's in a press release, uh, a funding bid, or a blockbuster movie? Well, in a nutshell, um, the, the argument of the book is it's based on the process of perception. So, for example, um, I exist, I see the outside world, I change. Uh, uh, it's a three-act structure. So a child um, sees a fire, he touches the fire, he learns never to touch the fire again. It's the process of perception and drama and, in fact, all shape, all narrative shape, all narrative structure from journalism um, to a press release mimics and echoes that process. So it's, it, it's built around the fundamental process of human perception. And by echoing that process, does it mean that the stories that are being told in whatever form will resonate with audiences or work? I think there's no no doubt that if something is well structured, it's easier for audiences to follow it and also for audiences to interpret it. I mean, I argue very strongly that things don't have to be perfectly structured, but it's useful to understand and know what is perfect structure uh, and more importantly, also where it comes from. And does that mean that recognition of this, this structure and your approach to telling stories is sort of fairly easy for people to grasp who aren't experienced in screenwriting or writing stories of any form? I think fundamental, fundamentally the answer it is quite simple. Uh, and what, what's amazing about it is people who don't study structure do it actually anyway. A nine-year-old can tell stories that are perfectly structured. A five-year-old can tell stories that are perfectly structured. They don't realise they're doing it because it's the way we're hardwired to tell stories. But there's no doubt, I think, that if you study it and practice it as a craft skill, you hone that instinct to make it sharper uh, and better and a more useful tool for expression. And does your book explain how to take that recognition that this is a core part of us all and turn that into a how to write? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not a how-to-write manual, but what it is, I hope if you read it, I mean, from the feedback I've had so far, if you read it, you start to understand where your stories might not be working and also where you can take them and what you can do. I mean, it's like it's like learning to play an instrument or whatever. The more you learn about the craft, the better you become.